Hi, and welcome to yet another B1UP Tips and Tricks session. Today we will inspire a little about how to custom color fields and change texts. So uh, let's jump into business one. If I can get my system to react to me, here we go. And let me show the feature and then let's show you how it's working afterwards. So when I have a delivery date on a sales order, I am of course interested in knowing if the delivery date is good or bad, meaning am I on time or have I not uh, taken this sales order and moved it onto delivery before the delivery date. So if I go to the last one here, you can see I'm way behind because it would actually tell me that the delivery was due in uh, in 726 days ago, because it's a document from 18. But if I, for example, go in and say uh, three days from now, it will say delivery date in three days. Or if I go behind the scenes, then it's six days. You, of course, decide how you want to show this up here. And you can also see that the, it turns green uh, or it turns red when we are behind. Let me go out of the field so you can see it. If we are ahead, it will just stay black and if we go to an or something that's already been delivered we have it in green so this is a fairly simple but uh, involved setup uh, it requires three validations and it requires uh, three universal functions in order to work so let's quickly have a look at how you can set this up for your customer so let me get rid of this so we can go to the different configurations. So let's see the first one, which is to reset the due date. Because of course, if we want to go to add mode, it shouldn't stay. In my case, if I go to the last one, say minus two, a new one should just say delivery date. So what this does is simply saying every time we press add or find, which is a two menu UIDs for that, we do a universal function macro that just sets the text here delivery date to uh, to be delivery date we could also reset the color if need be uh, but that's up to you as well so that one is simple so we just get the reset here we have whenever we load some data into it we do a sql condition saying is this date less than today's date if it is it's overdue else it's good. So if we look at overdue, we go in and say, okay, it's overdue. Is the, uh, is the document open? If it is, then let's make it red and say it is now due in, and then we do some SQL uh, math with, with dates saying how many days between today and now. And that's the reason why it says minus some days. If it's not an open document, it must mean with that we have delivered already or done. So we all just set it in green using, uh, so 12 is, if we go to the sales order. So 12 is the actual field, as you can see in the lower left corner. And 13 is the label of it. So that was when it was overdue, if it's good. We simply just say the field is black, meaning it's not yet figured out. And we just say how many days, again, with SQL uh, math, uh, days until that day. So that's what we do when we load the data. And the final one is, of course, when we actually change the data. And it's actually exactly the same as uh, with the load because now we just have a new date and we need to check if it's overdue or good. So again, back to the sales order. If I go there, it's bad. If I put it into the future, it's good. If I put it in the past, it's bad and so on. Today's date will be red because we're technically allowed, but that's the business case, of, of course. Uh, so that's up to you. And if we go away from it, 
it should of course go away and just say delivered. So done. Thank you for attending, and I hope it's beneficial.